Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Sarah. And I'm Nate. And you're watching Serenades. <laughs> Today, we are going to be ranking Disney villain deaths. We are going to be ranking the deaths based on how unique they are, how iconic they are. How gratifying they were to see these villains get their just desserts. This video is going to be focusing on the deaths of the villains, not necessarily their backstories. If you want to see more about their backstories, check out this other ranking video we did about Disney villains here. These are main villains only, and due to the nature of this list, naturally there will be some spoilers. So spoiler alert. Is now in session. Without further ado, let's hop into the list of death. Oh my goodness. Look at this morgue oh, of I'm so sorry. Magnets. I thought something went wrong. We're going to start with the very first villain death in Disney history, mm -hmm. which is the evil queen from Snow, Snow White, White and the Seven Dwarves. She is in her witch form and she's running away from the Seven Dwarves. After seeing what they did to their homegirl, Snow White, she killed her with the poison apple. Well, she made her go to sleep. <laughs> and, anyways, she's going up the cliffside and she finally realizes that the dwarves are hot in pursuit. So she gets to the top of this rock and grabs a huge twig, for lack of a better word. Stick. A stick, whatever. Then she gets this idea that she's gonna leverage the boulder with the stick. Mm -hmm. I'll crush their bones. She's cackling. Oh, like she's a, a witch. Wild witch. As she's about to do it, thunder or er, lightning. As she is about to do it, lightning <laughs> strikes down, cracks the cliffside. She falls off, and the I the guess. rock falls back on her. Two vultures have been watching this scene mm. unfold. They give each other this little look. It's the look that I get the day after. After Halloween when candy's 50% off. <laughs> this death set the precedent of all Falling. Disney villain deaths. It's very iconic. It is very iconic. This is super gratifying because it's pure irony too, right? Because she's like, I'm gonna crush their bones. And then guess what? Your bones are getting crushed, snitch, so. I'd give it an A. I would give it an A too. Next Disney villain death is Maleficent from Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. Now we all know about our girl Maleficent, the mistress of evil. If you don't know about her, check out the video that we've done in the past, please. It would help us a lot. But. <laughs> <laughs> she has held Prince Philip captive because true love's kiss is the only thing that can wake her up. Then the three fairies break him out. And Maleficent is not having that. And Philip has to go to the other kingdom to save Aurora. And then Maleficent turns herself into that big old bad dragon and her and Prince Philip basically duel it out. And then as he brings it back and thrusts it, they give that little magical spell on it in his backswing. And then he throws it. Right in the heart. This is a grandiose death. S? I would give it a high A. It's really cool, but it seems a little dated. Wait, but... a dragon being slain into a fiery pit of the one of the most iconic villains ever. It's one of the most iconic scenes in Disney history. It is pretty gratifying. And... It's very gratifying. Look, you're giving it... <laughs> I would honestly give it an A+. Plus. I'm going to give it like right here. But I'm not happy about it. The next Disney villain death we have is the Horned King from the, the Black, Black Cauldron. Cauldron. Now the Horned King he has horns. And he's a king. Did you know that? <laughs> so Taryn and the Horned King are having this little tangle. What, what would you call Entanglement. it? Entanglement. So the Black Cauldron is pulling both of them towards it. And Taryn somehow doesn't get pulled in. This mystical being that is not of this planet. Gets pulled in. Gets pulled in. And a little boy doesn't. So you tell me what you think about that. It's very not it's memorable. Blah. It's just like the movie. Uh, the movie is blah. I don't know. I would, yeah, C was C. what I thought too. Next up, we have Professor Radigan from The Great, the Great Mouse, Mouse Detective. He's facing off against Basil on Big Ben and he's in full rat form. Throughout this whole movie, Radigan has been so adamant about not being identified as a rat because he thinks he's so classy and above all that. In this final scene, he just loses his ish and accepts that identity and goes full force at Basil. 
as a rat. It's like he embraced his true form at that point. It's another falling death. Off of Big Ben, we have a, a monument. You think Basil might have gotten it, but whoa, spoiler. Whoa, whoa, spoiler alert. We already gave a spoiler I know. alert. He lives. C plus. I'll agree. Next up, we have Sykes from Oliver, Oliver and, and Company. Company. The only good thing about this movie is Billy Joel. One minute I'm in Central Park. The ending scene in this movie trip. You have trip. to it's suspend your disbelief so far. Well, if you even make it this far in the movie, it's, it's, it's all right. No, it's a stretch. They're on a subway, but then the subway somehow turns into an overpass over. It kind of looks like the George Washington Bridge, and a oncoming train is coming right at them. And somehow, right before it hits, they're able to like whoop, like <laughs> on the moped onto like the wire suspension part of the it's bridge. It's like whoa! It's well, how do you do that? His car gets destroyed by the incoming train, and then he falls. So it's a little another combination of fall. I give it right again a C. Yeah. It's very, it's very run of the right mill. in the middle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next villain, we have Ursula from the Sea Witch. From The Little, the little Mermaid. Mermaid. <laughs> Finally, a death that we can talk about that isn't just about falling. falling. Prince Eric steers the ship right into Ursula's gut. heart or oh, gut. Is it her stomach or her Well, heart? it's a vital organ. So she's in her giant form and she kind of like, this is like what she does. Yeah, and she has this like. I would argue this is one of the most iconic moments throughout Disney animated history. It scared me as a kid. Yeah. It stuck with me. I'm not hesitating here. It's an S. I give it an S too. Next villain, we have Percival C. McLeach from The Rescuers. Damn, Damn, nah. Nah. Living in the land down and uh. I bet you he listened to that song with Joanna. In While house. eating a Vegemite sandwich? Yeah. Oh, give me the maids, Joanna. Throughout the whole movie, McLeach is doing some very dastardly things. Poaching, kidnapping, and then yeah. he was actually going to feed the kid to the crocs at the end. And finally, he succumbs to falling off a waterfall. His only friend, Joanna, kind of was like, well, Waving at him I like could have helped you. But, See you so, later, dude. I'm gonna go eat your eggs now. And then I like when he's trying to paddle, like, oh, I read it. But like, dude, you're, it's over. And then it shows that shot of just his small, insignificant body. It looks like a little just speck. Bug. I think it's a little bit better than the other C tiers, so I'm gonna give it a B. I'd give it a B as well. Next up, we have Gaston oh. from Beauty The Beauty and, and the, the Beast. Beast. He has led the mob to the beast's castle to kill the beast for really no reason. For no reason. Remember he goes in the room and he just shoots him with an arrow yeah, and he's like, Gaston's a little F boy. He and the beast are getting in this altercation on like one of the high rooftops. <laughs> the beast finally embraces Belle and then Gaston stabs him in the back. He goes like this and then it Gaston, Gaston loses, loses, his, loses footing. his balance. And then he falls. It's like, well, maybe you shouldn't stab people in the back. Maybe then you wouldn't fall off castles that you have no business being on top of anyway. It seemed like it was like a long way down, so you have a lot of time to think before you hit that ground. It's probably one of the better Disney death falls. Yeah. It's gonna be right in a high B with McLeach. I agree. Next Disney villain deaths, we have Scar from the Lion King. This is at the end after he falls from the cliff face fighting Simba. While he was fighting Simba, he tried to backpedal and say that the hyenas made him do it and they overhear this unbeknownst mm. to Scar. Oh, oh, oh. Simba does that cool move where he like kangaroo kicks him off his body and Scar falls off of Pride Rock. And in a weakened state, he's all like gets up and then the hyenas- Oh my friends, friends. I thought you said we were the enemy. And the camera pans and you could see the them shadow. all jumping in. Ooh, You know memorable. what uh, letter Scar starts with? What? An S. S. Yeah, his yeah. death's an S. Next up, we have Judge Claude Frollo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Damn. Damn. They're on top of Notre Dame. Frollo is in pursuit of Esmeralda and Quasimodo. And I always remembered when he like came in with the... He almost fell because Quasimodo retaliated. So he was hanging by that gargoyle statue. He saw its face morph into like snarling at him. And, and he's then... like, oh, and then he plummets to the fiery death, which is another fall, but, but a little very more deserved. very deserved and lots of symbolism going on. I got to give it like a B plus. I would have given it an A minus. Next up, we have Sean Yu from Mulan. Mulan and Lee 
Shang are leading their little troops to go save the Emperor because they know that Shan Yu is doing like a counter attack. So Mulan finally gets him on the rooftop. She teams up with Mushu to just launch a firework and just lights up Shan Yu. It basically and, just plummets him. Well, explodes into, yeah. and I'm assuming his body parts go everywhere. Woo Was it iconic? It was creative. It was definitely unique and deserve it. Yeah, for sure. But it doesn't stand out to me like some of the other ones do. It's better than falling. So for that, I give it like a B minus. I agree. Next up, we have Clayton from Tarzan. So this is when Clayton is in a fight with Tarzan. They're in the jungle, all in the vines. His rage has gotten the best of him. And Tarzan notices this because he's dodging everything like it's nothing. He's getting all caught up and in- snared. Tarzan was like, Clayton. He ends up hanging himself. Then the shadow- The shadow of his body just- penduluming Ooh. back and forth. This to me haunting. is wild. And he pretty much did it to himself because Tarzan was just dodging him the whole time, like trying to get him to realize what he was doing. But like he was in such a crazy state of mind that he couldn't see it. I don't know if it was deserving. That's pretty harsh. But, hey man, you play with fire, you're gonna get burnt. You play with vines, you're gonna get hung. He was trying to poach Tarzan's whole family. He had them all in cages yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that and... was gross. So yeah, maybe it was deserving. I give it an A. I agree. Frollo needs to be a B plus because it's just not in that realm. I agree with it. Next up, we have Commander Rourke from Atlantis. Milo, Rourke, and Helga are all in this contraption getting out from the bottom of Atlantis to the top. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know. It's just so complicated. It's such a complicated death. Rourke kicks Helga off this hot air balloon yeah, kind of was, thing. Yeah, that was some messed up stuff. We gotta drop weight. <laughs> then Rourke overpowers Milo in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, and he's like, ha, ha, ha. And then Helga goes, shoots a little hot air balloon thing. It's slowly coming down. They're carrying the heart of Atlantis. He's trying oh. to kill Milo with an axe. And then he accidentally broke the hatch. Milo takes a piece the shard of, of the glass, glass from it, cuts him. It infects him. Like it gets in, into his skin. He turns blue and red, red and then and explodes. It felt like the movie, unnecessary and overcomplicated. I'm giving it a D. I didn't like it at all. I'll agree with that. Next up, we have Dr. Facilier from The, the Princess, Princess and the Frog. frog. One of the most memorable deaths that I can think of in recent memory. This kind of reminded me the color schemes like the horned king death from the black cauldron it's just like vibrant but it's dark at the same time this death is what the horned king death wished it was it's kind of the same concept he made too much bargains with his friends on the other side and so when they break his little talisman all those spirits come out and they're just like nope you're coming to the other side he gets dragged into into hell basically by these spirits you see his gravestone with his face Oh. petrified and it says facilier on it super unique memorable Creepy. and this is one i'd give an a i agree next up we have mother gothel from tangled, tangled. mother knows best mother knows manipulation oh like let me use your hair powers to keep her nasty self young mother gothel she falls to her death the thing with these falls is that some of them are personalized. Like for Mother Gothel, it's when she realizes that Flynn cut Rapunzel's hair and it turns brunette instead of the blonde magical. She immediately starts losing her youth. Her and hair is gray, pedals. she's getting wrinkles, and she's so distraught that she's going towards the window and falls. I so, think that makes it a little a more little elevated better. of a fall. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a lot more personalized of a death. I give it a B minus. I would give it a B minus as well. Final villain, we have King Candy am, slash Turbo from Wreck-It Wreck Ralph. Ralph. King Candy's death takes place when Ralph has destroyed like a soda machine or something and it creates this beam of light that cybugs are attracted to. And at this point, King Candy is merged with a cybug. He's like three people at this point. He's Turbo, King, King Candy, Candy, and a cybug. As soon as that beam of light hits, the cybug just wants to go toward it. King Candy's like, no, no. And then... Yeah, he just keeps going toward it. And then it just anyway. goes... I mean, I have to give it like a B plus. I agree. Let's review the list. S, Ursula, Scar, the Mistress of Evil. Throw her up there, S. Maleficent, S, A's, Evil Queen, Clayton, Facilier, B's, Frollo, Gaston, Kinkanai, McLeach, Sean Yu, Gothel, 
C, Radigan, Horn King, Sykes, and D, Commander Rourke. That's our list. Let us know what villains you agree with, what villains you disagree with. What villains you would have liked to have seen. Like, share, and subscribe to Serenade. And while you're at it, click that bell button so you never miss a new episode. That's about all the time we have for today, folks. We will see you next time.